Emerald Hazard Lights Part 4? Now, I know Emerald did the Hazard Lights with uh, Draco B. Then he did this sentiment. Oh, no. So, yeah. We've reacted to every single Emerald Hazard Lights. So, make sure I tune into those if you haven't already. Shout out, OA. Shout out to you for tuning into this video. Smash that like button. Let's get this video to three likes. Um, All those people that tune into this video, thank you. I'm 37 reacting to the music videos. So let's go. Got a dog in the background? Jelly Orna. Is that always dog? Yeah, like, like, I'm wrong. Okay. Fuck. It's been a while since we were from Michael Road, chat. Stop trying to say that I hung up the phone. I was crossing a bridge and I start losing service. I'm not here to argue, so lower your tone. You find any reason to argue on purpose? I heard it. I heard it. All, all of this shit is concerning. You rather just okay. run from an argument. You know that you started. When you win the wrong, you get nervous. I if there's one thing I can say about Emro when it comes to his music, he definitely showcases a lot of versatility. I'm not gonna lie. He showcases a lot of versatility and a lot of creativity. You feel what I'm saying? And I can applaud him for that. I can actually applaud him for that. And his lyrics come with a little bit of substance. Y'all know how I feel about lyrics. Speaking of lyrics, is 26AR top 10 in the drill scene right now? And was he still top 10 before the 4-1 beef? Let me know. Please. I, I ain't yelling and I ain't cursing. I came to the conclusion that nobody perfect. If it don't make you happy, that shit never worth. I'ma quote everything that I just been observing. I don't know where you go through my text. You just wanna see if I talk to my ex. Scrolling through messages, one after the next. You went through the group chat, bitch. I bet. The day that I asked, let me see who you texting your phone. You probably gonna think it's a threat. Your phone. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. I ain't gonna put bro uh business out there, but shout out my hound. Yeah, when them shorties go through that group chat, man, I ain't gonna lie. You just gotta sit there and take that Ellington. I ain't gonna front. When the shorty go through the GC chat. And see what you telling them, bros? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. You gonna look like a whole different person that night. I ain't going front. I remember this one time, chat. I'm not, I'm not applauding any cheaters, but somebody I know that kind of looks like me, right? He, he, I went to the gym, right? He was going, he was at the gym, me and the bro, right? He was, he was working out and shit, right? Bro, bro knocked crazy. He, 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 he literally left the gym, went to Shorty Crib, knocked crazy because he was mad tired, right? He was knocked. For like two, three hours, he was telling me. Not for like two, three hours. He wakes up to shorty with the phone in his face like this. With the phone in his face like this. So, so who's Ashley, huh? Who? Who are you talking about? And then, you know, water got poured on him and things of that nature. But I'm just saying, ladies and gentlemen, face ID lock every single app. That's my advice. But also my other advice, don't get a relationship if you're going to cheat, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I'ma keep it all bug. Don't get no relationship. Don't know he's on deep. deal when you get next to me. You been doing that shit since we met. Guilty, conscious. We talking some nonsense. I'm starting to see you obnoxious. Make comments about shit that you saw in my last bitch. Like I, I told you that shit only content. I could forgive, I, I could regret, but I'm not the type to just say I forgot shit. If it don't make you happy, what's the point? I really need to just learn how to stop shit. Like I just vent through the music. My problems I solve even when I feel stupid. I'm making this short because I'm not trying to loot it. Why the world need to know every time we go through it. You always telling your friends about shit that we go through. Why is they even included? If I give my man's two options to say they just leave, they're gonna just tell me concluded. How do y'all feel about this chat? How do I, I think Emro's definitely top 10. I was definitely underrating him when I was continuing to include locked up artists and people who haven't dropped into my list. Um this is not a bad song. I like I like this one from Emro right here. I like the lyrics. The flows was good. The message was fire too. The storytelling was great. It's typical Emro. Emro's a good artist, ladies and gentlemen. He's definitely a good rapper. He can rap, you know? So I feel like that's why he actually has to deserve to be in this top 10 list as of right now. Emro not top 10. Now, he definitely is top 10. Because literally, literally, bro, if somebody has a lot better lyrics than a person... One, that's going to push them a lot farther, in my personal opinion. He has the ability to make the hype tracks, the lit tracks, the sentimental tracks, the storytelling tracks. And niggas only really be making one genre of drill. I'm going to keep it a whole buck. So the fact that he can make any... He, Emro can make any type of song. We, we've seen it. He can make any type of song. So versatility, he's beating niggas. You can name 10, 10 niggas better than him right now. Being better and who you like more is two different things. Being better and who you like more is two different things. Shout out to the 17 in the building. Join the Discord. Link in the description. No bars intended. But yeah, that's two different things. 
Yeah, but his album Hood Poet didn't do too well. He needs to branch out on the same floor. He has that's what that's what my main gripe with Michael Roverson was in the first place. He has one one cadence, one delivery. But that doesn't hinder how good of an artist and how good of a rapper he is. And his album wasn't even that bad. You feel what I'm saying? It wasn't even that bad. You know, I, when you say it didn't do too well, I would think you're talking about sales because compared to other drill artists, like the Emerald shit was better than the Duty Low shit, was better than the Bloody shit, was better than their collab tape. Like, who who else was the, the Emerald shit was better than the Sugar Hill Keem shit? Like, who else was dropped? Who else dropped albums and EPs? D Play for Keeps? It's just a bunch of old wild niggas doing that shit, bro. Like, I don't really like who, who else dropped a, a EP or album. You had S Dot shit, the EP from Dot. I think that I think Emeralds had way more versatility and better lyrics. You would just rather listen to the S dot gold one more because of the sound he's giving you, which is completely understandable. You feel what I'm saying? I don't think it was better than the J5 shit though. And that's me being biased. <laughs> but keep it a buck. Nah, it wasn't better though. I could you you can name ten you can name ten people better, but I promise you I won't agree with that list. So come up with that list. You feel what I'm saying? Most definitely come up with that list. Cause I don't even think I would agree with that. I don't see how I would agree with that. You feel what I'm saying? Because if you're going to have Kyle Rich over Emro, the only way Kyle Rich is over Emro is because he makes better songs that you just cater to more. Lyrics, Emro clears. Versatility, Emro clears. But Emro having one delivery and flow, I feel like hinders him for a lot of y'all. Yeah, fair enough. Only replayable song from that would be Free Five. Kenzo's Baller's Year of the Baller album. I'm so turned off by Kenzo Baller no freaky shit in 2024 to where it's like, I don't even like give him his flowers from the past shit no more. Like, I ain't, I'm gonna keep it a whole buck. Like, like he really disappointed me. Dougie, Seti, Kenzo. Very disappointed on what got, they got going on. And I heard Kenzo's going through some health, health, health issues. So I'm praying for him. With that being said, stop smoking spreads out so much, ladies and gentlemen. Focus on going to the gym and working out and getting that cardio in so these problems do not concur. You feel what I'm saying? Health is wealth. You can still smoke and be healthy. You feel what I'm saying? Emerald clears KR on lyrics? Yes. Did you just not Wait, wait. Wait, wait. First of all, KR does not use similes, metaphors, double entendres like Emerald has multiple times. KR does not have... KR does not have storytelling ability compared to Emerald, nor does he have the catalog of sentimental tracks. Like, what are you talking about right now? I got you later in the stream, K. Uh, K. Dot. I still bump Kenzo every now and again, but 2024 Kenzo? Straight Garbanzo beans. He need Crooklyn to become his manager again. I'm going to keep it a whole bun. I'm going to keep it a whole bun. And all the, 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 and all the tracks that niggas jack is old shit, bro. All the tracks that niggas jack the old shit, bro. He's surviving off of old music right now, gang. Niggas told me that. Niggas been told me that. Niggas been told me that. Emro clears KR on lyrics. Okay, I'm sorry this video hasn't ended, ladies and gentlemen. We're still having this conversation. Emro clears KR on lyrics, and, but KR's hooks and songs are just more friendly. Yes. 100%, uh, Charlie, you understand completely. If they don't have metaphors, you look for a rhyme pattern. Emerald's bars are mid. KR has no bars. KR has no bars. KR has no bars. KR has... I be scoring them buckets like I'm Jeremy Lin. That is fucking ass. That's not a bar, bro. That's not a bar, bro. That's just some shit you say. That's not a bar, bro. That's not a bar, bro. That shit is mediocre, bro. Mediocre, bro. That's not even... That's not even high school lunch table. That's middle school lunch table. That shit I was saying in 2012. Emerald got ass bars too, but Emerald also has good bars and, and impactful lyrics. Like, what are we talking about right now? Did we not just listen? We did not just listen to the that the track Emerald just spit had more bars than KR's last seven drops. Two, two, both of them aren't crazy lyrically, but Emerald is definitely clear. Emerald is definitely is definitely a top ten. Where's he's definitely a top ten lyricist. In terms of versatility, in terms of storytelling, in terms of lyrics and substance in general, in terms of the drill scene, hundred percent. Joe never been about bars though. That nigga's stupid. Mu first of all, first of all, music is music one, 
you can do anything in on a drill beat. That's like saying that's like saying sentimental drill isn't has nothing to do with drill music, even though I'm talking about spinning the ops and still feeling this pain at the same time. It music is music, bro. Music is music. And what do I think makes music better? Better lyrics. This is why this is my list at the end of the day. You feel what I'm saying? But what do you have to say? Who in drill got good bars? Busy, Siggy Black, Max the Demon, 26AR, Leaky G Bando, J5. Like, I could continue. What are you talking about? Wait, wait, wait. Do niggas not know that certain niggas actually know how to rap? When you know how to rap, of course you're going to have good lyrics and bars and things of that nature. What are we talking about right now? I ain't going to lie. Y'all yeah, yeah, don't really be on BJD. You could just name Baby G. I could just sit here naming every single pop in Brooklyn nigga that niggas really jack. And we can find mad bars from them. The focal point of drill is not bars. That's to you. That's to you. Just because a genre gets a title does not mean that, that we don't have to focus on everything else. We're rating it as music. What are you talking about? Wait, no, no, no. I'm not going to lie. Hold on. Hold on, cause, cause listen, right? I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it down for you. I'm gonna break it down for you. You feel what I'm saying? I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna break it down, right? When you listen to music, the melody, the flow, the vibe, all of that matters. If I sit here and hop on a drill beat. I talk about shit that has to do with drill. That makes it drill music. If I get on the drill beat and have actual good lyrics, that adds to the drill music, which makes it better music. Your your niggas is rating drill on if oh how good was he talking about smoking this niggas dead this that and the third none of that shit really matters because everybody be saying that shit all the time you have to add more things to the music in order to make it better that's why four one are hit makers in drill music that's why s dot go is so good because niggas fell in love with that niggas flow cadence and and rhyme patterns and rhyme schemes that had nothing to do like you feel what I'm saying like I don't am I bugging am I high. Cause I am, but like, am I high? Like, of something? I was like, did I smoke? Like, am I bugging? I gotta be bugging, yo. I gotta be bugging. Got to be bugging. Every drug. Who said that? Why are you asking me that question? When we're ranking niggas as artists, what makes a nigga better would have to be things that people can be better at. As rappers, gang. You feel what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? You feel me? Like, that's the only way you can do it. So if lyrics is an aspect, that plays a role. Flow, cadence, melodies, vocabulary, rhyme schemes. This is music. You gotta broaden the scale. You gotta widen the scale. This is music. We're sitting here talking about music. Music. As my Memphis niggas would say. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of things that add to it. A lot of things that add to it. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, wh what did he say? Oh, nigga no said that's not what he said. He's already said there's differences between songs being good and being light. Because you're making it seem like bars is is the dual end all. I feel like, I know you're not new to this channel. But you might be new to this channel. I value lyrics the most in all of music. I... Don't care. What are you talking about right now? When I put this in my ears, what are you telling to me? If I turn on Sexy Red and she's talking about shake that ass and go sell this lip gloss called common nut and other random shit she be doing to the youth, I'm not putting that in my ear just because it's a good vibe over a Gucci main B and she sound like female Gucci man. I don't care, Miss Red. I don't care, bro. That shit is ridiculous. So if niggas is chatting on Joe Beast, but that shit sound like a vibe, I'm going to give it this one, two points. But you're not going to sit here. You're not going to have me sit here and I'm going to be like, oh my God, that Stunna Geek has her lights? That beat was insane. That shit is a classic. Get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> what are you like? What's going on? What's like, come on. Like, if niggas like, you feel me? You feel me? That's why I give KR his flowers. That's why Kyle Rich is still in my top 10. Kyle Rich is still in my top 10, and that nigga has no bars. 
Bars is the duo. What did I just say? See, you see how he typed that early right before I said what I said? Kyle Rich is still in my top 10 and he has no bars. That's not the duo, duo be all, whatever you said. That's just the main factor. There's different factors. As No said, he listed three to five factors. If that shit is a factor, it counts. Point blank, period. Point blank, period. Like, certain shit has more weight. I'm going to wait for the stream to catch up because I know y'all heard what I just said. You see how I'm replying? I'm responding to this nigga as he continues. You see how, like, as he continues to type this shit, I already said it. So it's like, just go back and hear what I said about it. Because I'm, you feel me? But I feel you though. I appreciate this conversation. This is what I love. You feel me? So, uh, bars are doing beyond, and nothing is wrong with that. But in the grand scheme of things, most people not listen to Joe for bars. Let's keep it a bean. And that's why this is the TTP Primo. YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen. It's just a nigga giving his opinions. Like, that's why niggas is here. That's literally why niggas is here, bro. You feel me? It's just a nigga that's about to give his opinion. Let's see what this black nigga got to say. This really good looking, sexy ass nigga. You feel me? It, it be in the comments of every video. I'm not glazing. I'm just letting y'all be known. What was the top 10? Nah, I'm not giving my top 10 right now. I ain't going from. We hold the on for Nah, man. I be giving out too many lists. That's why I haven't done a Uwe Fufu in a minute, man. Hold on. Let me end this Emerald video. This Emerald video was 16 minutes, chat. Let's see if niggas really fuck with the Yap videos like they say they do. Let's see. Let's see, man.